Hello viewers, for DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to properly torque your wheel. Show your support by hitting that subscribe button and help promote my channel by sharing your favorite videos on your social media pages. An improperly torqued wheel can cause vibrations, cause strain on suspension components due to the vibrations, uneven tire wear, and become a serious safety concern. First start by removing any access debris or rust on the hub's mounting surface. This applies to both the rotor and drum applications. If you are just finishing up brake work and have the rotor or drum removed, I would highly recommend cleaning the mounting surfaces between the rotor or drum and hub. Normally I use a wire brush for these applications. You can also use the assistance of a power tool with a wire wheel attachment or sandpaper. Next, cleaning the rear of the wheel's hub mounting surface. Even if you have aluminum wheels, debris can still build up on the surface, which can cause issues. Considering these are aluminum wheels, I would recommend using a sandpaper or a brass wire brush instead. I would not recommend using a steel wire brush as the particles from the steel can be embedded into the aluminum and cause rusting afterwards. Once satisfied, install the wheel. If you have lug studs like this vehicle, sometimes the alignment of the fastener holes can take a little patience and some manufacturers will have an alignment tool which is normally found in the tool kit in the trunk. Install lug studs. First, I'm ensuring they are hand tightened so the wheel is seated correctly. The lug studs or nuts should be installed in a star or crisscross pattern. Here are some different diagrams outlining where to start and finish. Some people add some form of corrosion inhibitor or anti-seize, but this may go against government standards. In some places, a mechanic may not pass the vehicle for a safety inspection, so it's best to consult with your local regulations first. Now using a ratchet, tighten the lug studs slightly further, again using a star or crisscross pattern. Lower the vehicle slightly so the tire has enough grip on the ground for the final torque process. Lug nut or stud torque specs will vary depending on your vehicle. I do have a large database on my website for wheel torque specifications, which I will include in the link in the description below. If you are wondering how to use a torque wrench, I also have a video on that. Again, the link will be included in the description below. The lug studs or nuts will need to be torqued in a star crisscross pattern. This ensures the wheel is properly seated. If you were also to put the full weight of the vehicle down on the wheel you are torquing, this may twist the wheel slightly, causing seating issues as well. One click is all that's needed when using a torque wrench. Once done, lower the vehicle, remove the jack, and then install the center cap if equipped. New videos are being uploaded every week to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and if you have any comments, please feel free to post them. Thank you for watching.